morning. Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your Morning Egg Outlook for Wednesday, October 2nd. Uh, a lot of news impacting commodity prices overnight, which saw uh, prices in the egg space uh, mostly higher. Feed grains and soybean oil have been the leader to the upside. Uh, corn right now is about two to three better, cutting their uh, overnight gains in half. Uh, however, prices still traded to the best levels uh, in three months. Wheat prices are running Oh, let's call it five to six better at the moment. Also a little bit off their highs, reaching two to three month highs across uh, all three classes as well. Bean oil is still running about uh, 80 to 90 higher, helping uh, being fueled by surging energy prices uh, as uh, markets add war premium with tensions in both the Middle East and the Black Sea on the rise. Uh, Russian miss missile attacks overnight on Ukraine uh, reportedly damaged some grain facilities in the Odessa Odessa region uh, while cutting power to thousands. Uh, meal and soybean prices uh, have been lagging, Ex actually just recently touched a new lows here, trading about nine to 10 lower on the beans, uh, 12 to 13 lower on the meal. Uh, forecast for South America continue to uh, suggest better prospects for rain in the dry regions by the middle of the month. Also while uh, China is on break this week for uh, golden week. Uh, speculative traders just continue to aggressively lighten up across the ag space, uh, particularly corn. Yesterday, they bought just over 20,000 contracts of corn, cutting their short position now to uh, under 70,000. Open interest was higher across the ag space as well, uh, led by surging uh, the soybean meal, which was up about 17,000 contracts with yesterday's trade. <clears throat> After the close uh, yesterday, census crush. For the month of August at 167.6 million bushels, that was in line with expectations. However, the lowest monthly crush figure since September of 21, uh, it was down 13% from July and down 1% from August a year ago. Uh, for now, the recently completed 23-24 marketing year, uh, we've got cum cumulative crush at 2.288 billion bushels. Uh, that's down 7 million from the USDA forecast of 2.295. So I'd look for a slightly lower crush and higher residual uh, in next week's uh, USDA WASI report to get uh, the uh, September ending stocks down to 342 million bushels. Oil stocks fell 19% from July to 1.629 billion pounds. And uh, that too was in line with expectations. Uh, corn used for the production of ethanol in August reached 473 million bushels. Well, that was down 2% from July. It was up 7% from August a year ago. Also, there was a, a large 11 million bushel upward revision to the July usage. So we've got that taking total 23-24 corn uh, consumption to 5.471 billion bushels. Uh, that's 6 million above the USDA forecast. Uh, so it makes it a little bit easier for the USDA to get those ending stocks down to 1.760 billion. Uh, Stone X raised uh, both their corn and soybean yields, uh, now slightly above the USDA estimates from September. Uh, recent frost and dryness in Australia is leading to lower production estimates here. Some now as low as 30 million metric tons. Last uh, month, the USDA raised their forecast to 32 million metric tons. Uh, crushed margins uh, jumped to nickel yesterday to a two-month high. Product value for bean oil slipped to 38%, a two-month flow. Seeing a little, uh, some aggressive reversal in that trade today. Energy prices sharply higher as markets await Israel's response to the barrage of missile attacks yesterday from uh, Iran. Uh, crude oil is up over $2 a barrel. I don't think last night's uh, VP debate held any shocks, shocking developments and seemed amazingly calm to me. Uh, dry weather here in the U.S., perfect for harvest. Geese corn likely to run into some uh, uh, some uh, uh, technical resistance in that 440 to 450 level ethanol production later today. Inside trade for no beans in all three classes of wheat broken out to the upside here uh, with Chicago Dees above the 100-day moving average for the first time in nearly four months. Thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.